Hello guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. In today's video I have explosive content for you. It's the introduction of the GPT-4 model of OpenAI's most advanced AI model system. In this video I want to show you what GPT-4 can do actually and I want to show it you uh, with testing prompts on live on GPT-4 and at the moment it is so first to say GPT-4 is only out for the plus users of ChatGPT and so on, not in the free version. But at the end of this video, I will show you an um, option how you can use GPT-4 for free. So be sure to stay and watch the entire video to understand how you can use GPT-4, even if you're not paying the $20 monthly subscription for the GPT, ChatGPT Plus subscription. Okay, so let's look at what GPT-4 is capable of. GPT-4 is OpenAI's most advanced system, producing safer and more useful responses. So, and for this we have a little informational video. I want to look in and show you some clips out of it. GPT-4 takes what you prompt it with and just runs with it. From one perspective, it's a tool, a thing you can use to get useful tasks done in language. From another perspective, it's a system that can make dreams, thoughts, ideas flourish in text in front of you. GPT-4 is incredibly advanced and sophisticated. It can take in and generate up to 25,000 words of text, around eight times more than ChatGPT. It understands images and can express logical ideas about them. For example, it can tell us that if the strings in this image were cut, the balloons would fly away. This is the place where you just get turbocharged by these AIs. They're not perfect, they make mistakes, and so you really need to make sure that you know the work is being done to your level of expectation. But I think that it is fundamentally about amplifying what every person is able to do. GPT-4 training finished last August, and everything that's been happening in the past few months up until we've released it has been a giant sprint to make it safer, more aligned, and also more useful. We have put in already a lot of internal guardrails around things like adversarial usage, unwanted content, and privacy concerns. And when we release a model, we know things are not done. We know we have to learn. We know we have to update. We know we have to keep improving all the systems around it to make it suitable for society. To me, the most compelling use cases of these technologies will come from starting with a real human need. The obvious one where these systems have really incredible potential is in education. GPT-4 can teach a huge range of subjects. Imagine giving a fifth grader a personal math tutor with unlimited time and patience. It's a great tool to bring learning to everyone in a way that is personalized to their skill level. GPT-4 brings the dream of having the most useful, helpful assistant to life. It's really about adding as much value to everyday life as possible. The partnerships that OpenAI has with Microsoft is to shape this technology into something that's going to be useful for the world. The power of AI, hopefully, is that it can help us be more productive, which ultimately leads to better quality of life. The development of the transistor, the computer, of the internet, the semiconductor industry, all the programming languages, everything came together to produce AI technology. And while it is very limited, it's already easy to imagine what the impact of a successor many generations down the line will look like. We think that GPT-4 will be the world's first experience with a highly capable and advanced AI system. So we really care about this model being useful to everyone, not just the early adopters or people very close to technology. So it is really important to us that as many people as possible participate so that we can learn more about how it can be helpful to everyone. So guys, this was the short video from OpenAI about chat, uh, about GPT-4 version. So now let's look a little bit deeper into uh, the GPT-4 version and what it is capable of doing. Here we have some examples uh, of which features GPT-4 offers. So it is more creative and collaborative than ever before. It can generate, edit and iterate with users on creative and technical writing tasks, such as composing songs, writing screenplays, or learning a user's writing style. So this is definitely things that uh, GPT-3.5 uh, could also do, but the output which GPT-4 gives is more complex and better uh, fits better to the user who uh, speaks with GPT-4 or who types with GPT-4. So definitely really nice to see this. The next thing is the visual input. GPT-4 can now accept images as inputs and generate captions, classifications, and analysis. So for example here, what can I make with these ingredients? Output will be, there are many options for what you can do, and it gives you all pieces you can see here. So GPT is able to visualize, uh, to, to work with visualized content. This is definitely really nice, and this is one of the things I will try uh, in the next minute uh, with you together, uh, how this really, uh, and if this really works that way. And the next feature is the longer content, which you also have seen in the video, is that ChatGPT4 is now capable of handling over 25,000 words of text and allowing 
For use cases like long-form content creation, extended conversations and documented search analysis. So now you, you can give the GPT-4 version a very long text and it is able to read through it all. What we have next is that GPT-4 surpasses ChatGPT in its advanced reasoning capabilities, uh, which means it's now able to uh, have a clear mind and reasoning behind things. For example, with this task here, GPT-3 or ChatGPT with one based on GPT-3.5 version wasn't able to solve this task uh, and gave out a, a false 30-minute window for the people where they all can join together in a meeting and with GPT-4 version it works clearly nice. And as we can see, GPT-4 outperforms ChatGPT by scoring in higher approximate percentiles among the test takers, for example, with the uniform bar exam or with a biology ampliate. Um, um, and that definitely by some higher percentages, as we can see it here. So definitely really nice to see this. Uh, the next thing is I want to show you ChatGPT4. Uh, with my Plus subscription, I'm able to use GPT4 now. So let's hop on to ChatGPT Plus. So here we are at ChatGPT. And what is new now is that we can select between different models. We are now at the default model, which is optimized uh, for speed, currently available to plus users. As we can see, we have three bars of reasoning, five bars for speed and two bars of consciousness. Then we have the legacy GPT 3.5 model, which was the previous plus model, which has also three bars, uh, which has three bars at reasoning, two bars at speed and one at consciousness. So it's uh, not that good at the default model because the default model was optimized for speed. And now we have the GPT 4 model, which gives us five bars of reasoning two bars of speed and four bars of consciousness. So definitely a high improvement in, um, in comparison with the GPT-3.5 model, as you can see it here. So let's try it out, the GPT-4 model. The first thing now is I have to say, uh, I have to apologize. I said we can try the image to uh, the text thing here out with ChatGPT and see how it visualized images, but this is clearly not uh, free at the moment and you need the default version but I didn't get a link from OpenAI, so I only have the GPT-4 model, which all Plus users have. And for the Plus model at the moment, the, uh, the visualized content isn't uh, free or isn't out yet. So it will come to us in the next days. And then I will make another video where you can see how ChatGPT uh, uses links, for example, of pictures and can uh, visualize pictures and what's inside of pictures or what, show, uh, what pictures show. So from now on, we're trying a puzzle with ChatGPT, uh, which GPT-3.5 version struggles immense and let's see if the GPT-4 version can complete it. So uh, this puzzle uh, question I found in an article from Jacob Ferrups in Medium. Uh, I will link it down below. So let's try it out with the GPT-3.5 default model and let's see what it gets out of this. The word is definitely not here what we want. We want to that this uh, letters will be filled in here uh, with the underscore. So Let's see what the GPT-4 uh, version can do with this. Make a new chat, GPT-4, put this in and now click on send and let's see what it will do. It's, as we can see, it's slower than the GPT-3.5 version, which was trimmed on uh, speed, but it should give us the correct answer. So let's look at this, what it gives out. As we can see, it, the GPT-4 model definitely is correct here with the word data science, which the GPT-3.5 model struggles immense and doesn't get it into the right order. Here we see the high improvement uh, of the consciousness and the reasoning, which the 3.5 model doesn't even uh, can acknowledge with this easy puzzle for us humans. But now the GPT-4 model is definitely points ahead. This is also shown with these uh, percentages here. GPT-4 only gets, uh, the GPT-3.5 only gets 10% and the GPT-4 is better than the 90% of this uniform bar exam. So definitely a nice improvement. What also uh, comes new with GPT-4 is the safety and alignment, which they trained with human feedback and conditions improvement from real world use. And they want to make GPT-4 assisted safety so that everybody can use GPT-4 and it now is uh, very, very safe uh, with the answer. So not uh, easy to bring out of its concept like it was with the GPT-3 version, for example. This all should be done uh, with the version 4 now. So what else they did is that OpenAI uh, give the GPT-4 version to other companies and lets them uh, building their products with the GPT-4 version. For example, here we have the learning app Duolingo, uh, which gives out an AI bot which belongs to the GPT-4 version, or Stripe, which uh, leverages GPT-4 to streamline user experience and combat fraud. 
And also we have here Morgan Stanley, uh, which uses it for wealth management and to organize the rest knowledge base. So definitely really nice uh, companies. And also the government of Iceland uh, is using GPT-4 to preserve its language. So definitely big players here, which uh, already built with the GPT-4 version uh, and included it into their uh, websites and apps. So definitely really nice to see this. Let's hop onto the GPT-4 research article, which we have here. And here we have some uh, nice graphs about uh, how uh, GPT-4 works and how much it is better than the GPT-3.5 version. Uh, I will link this article down below so you can look yourself through. I only want to show you some um, small test um, finals here, which GPT-4 definitely gets better out of than example the GPT-3.5 version. For example, here we have that also, uh, you have seen this, this is the uniform bar exam where GPT-4 uh, gets out of 298, 400 and GPT-3 is only with 213 from 400. So definitely an improvement which we can see here. Also, for example, we can go with the uh, graduate record examination uh, quantitative where it also improves uh, and also with no vision it improves uh, drastically in, um, if we compare it to the GPT 3.5 version. So here we have some benchmarks uh, from the GPT-4, GPT-3.5, LMSOTA and SOTA, uh, which is the best external, external model, includes uh, with benchmark specific training. And the GPT-4 version is better than these uh, in every point without uh, the drop, which is the reading comparison and the arithmetic. There is the SOTA model the best, but in all other points, uh, the GPT-4 nearly gets uh, to 100%, for example, with common sense reasoning and grade school multiple choice uh, science questions, it nearly gets to 100%, so it definitely has improved if you look at these numbers here. So definitely really nice to see this. The next thing is the GPT-4 um, is now a multi-model, um, uh, multi-language model which we can see here, it works now really, really good with many, many languages. So we have the best uh, with English, but example, for example, with Italian, African, Spanish, German, French, and all we also with 38%, uh, uh, with 83%, we are really, really at the top here. So now it works with really much, uh, nearly every language, and it doesn't have some bugs without, um, uh, with other languages, which were the case with 3.5 version, where uh, only English uh, was the best version to use. Now you can also use other languages um, without getting false answers or don't get any answers. So, so it is really nice. So here we have an example for the uh, image input. Well, what's funny about this image, describe the panel by panel. So uh, the image shows a package of lightning cable adapter, panel one, smartphone, panel two, package lightning cable, panel three, close up VGA uh, connector. And the humor in this image comes from the absurdity of plugging a large outdated VGA uh, connector into a small modern smartphone charging port. So it can understand those things which is clearly nice to see this. I hope I can try this if this comes out for all plus users and then I will make you another video to this. And here are some new, uh, other nice um, graphs about the uh, defects to GPT-4. I, as I said, I will link this article so you can read yourself through. Uh, this is definitely really good written and I would uh, give you the choice to, or I would give you the instructions to read this because it's really nice to uh, see what GPT-4, uh, how it improved. So, for example, here we have the safety with the prompt, which the early GPT-4 3.5 model um, gave some instructions on how to create a bump. But now it says, uh, my purpose as an AI model is uh, to assist and provide information in a helpful and safe manner. And I cannot and will not uh, provide information or guidance on creating weapons or in uh, engaging in any illegal activity. So now it's uh, definitely uh, safer with incorrect behavior rate or so as is all lowered. Uh, as we can see it here from GPT-3.5 to the GPT-4 version nearly um, cut into the hall. So that's really nice to see this. The only thing I have to say about GPT-4 version is what's bad now is that they said, or in the beginning uh, with my last video you have can hear it, uh, that uh, GPT-4 should have an image to a uh, text to image creator. It should uh, can visualize not only pictures but also videos. And these two uh, facts don't show up here in the feature description of JetGPT uh, or GPT-4. And so it is a little bit disappointing, but I hope they will get included in the future because GPT-4 is now their newest model and they are evolving it quick. So hopefully they will bring out these features with the next updates uh, or even maybe uh, only with GPT-5 then in the future. But hopefully it will come. they will come with the next update. So now let's go on. And now I want to show you the free version of how you can use uh, also use the GPT-4 model for free. So and uh, now we are at Microsoft Bing. You may ask yourself what we can do here and it's the Microsoft Bing chat which was released a week 
uh, last week and this thing is the thing how you can enter GPT-4 without paying for a plus subscription because the Bing chat is based on GPT-4 version which we can also see if we ask it it will say it to us so let's look if the G uh, Bing chat is based on the GPT-4 version um, do you uh, are you created the GPT-4 version of OpenAI and now it should ask uh, answer us this question and say yes so let's see what happens and yes Microsoft has confirmed and and OpenAI's Bing chatbot runs on OpenAI's generation GPT-4 model so how can you access the new Bing? And for this reason, I have another video, which I will link now here. If you click on this link and you get to this video, you can see how you can get early access to this new Bing and use it. It has a nice um, UI as ChatGPT and works really nice. So, and it is for free. You only have to register for on a waitlist for the early access. And this is really not uh, the problem. You get the early access really fast. So be sure to check out this other video here and see how you can get uh, ChatGPT for version for free. So guys, uh, if you enjoyed this short video about JPT4, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button and also click the little bell to don't miss the newest videos I will post about GPT-4. I will make a video when the picture uh, recognition is online and I will show it to you. What I also will do is a video about how to include the GPT-4 API, which is now out also uh, into your own app or website. So have a nice day and bye.